So I have these thighs from uh, Walmart. They're Purdue organic <clears throat> chicken thighs. And I just open them up. They're like blade. And I'll cut the extra little pieces of fat off. And some of them I'll just cook in oil. And then I'll roll them in some hot sauce. And make some hot chicken thighs. Uh, like Kind of like the Nashville kind. Not quite. But on the other ones for me. I put them in a Ziploc bag and close it up. And I use... Um, a meat tenderizer on the flat side and I just bang them out real this is one really flat as I can get it and then I'll put that in um, some egg mixture with a little water and flour and then I'll fry them for myself so I took a gallon size freezer bag and I just I, I took a little bowl and I beat up in an egg and put a little bit of water in it then I put it in this gallon size freezer bag I have the chicken thighs that I'm cooking for me, the two of them, and this flour, I'm going to shake them up, then I'm going to put them in the egg, make sure I'm back in the flour, and then I'll fry those, and I salted and peppered them, and then my husband's, I seasoned them, I'll put them in oil, and cook them up, and turn them into hot thighs. <laughs> I watched the program on cooking chicken thighs, and they said cooking chicken thighs is different than cooking chicken breast. Because chicken thighs have muscle in them from walking, you know, with their legs. And breasts don't. So, you have to cook them slower than you would with chicken breast. And it causes some of that to break down where it's more tender. So, I've got it on four on my stove. I might turn it to medium. Uh, and we'll see how this goes. I have a small frying pan here with a little oil heating up for my floured uh, chicken thighs. Now I'll get, I'll let it get hot. I got it between a, well, about a six and a half on the stove. And once it heats up, I'll put my chicken in. After a few minutes, I turned them, uh, I've turned them once so far. I'll probably turn them a couple more times with flour on them. And then the other chicken thighs are cooking slowly. I turn the thighs with the flour on them down one on the stove and then I put a lid on it so they get done on the inside. So here are the chicken thighs and there's a little brown on them but not a lot because if you get them really dark brown since they have no skin at all on them uh, they're gonna be hard. So we're gonna dip them in some hot sauce and I'll put a half stick of butter in here just about a cup of hot sauce and then I'll put them under the broiler. And then here's my flour fried thighs that I used a meat tenderizer on and banged them out thinner they look pretty yum and then there's some really good drippings uh in the pan left from this that i'm gonna make some gravy with i'll pour out almost all that grease but keep the brownings and then we'll see how it goes so here's my husband's thighs i dipped them in the hot sauce with the butter in it and now i'll put them in the oven under broil for a few minutes so I poured out almost all the grease out of this little pan. There's just maybe, I don't know, a, a tablespoon. But there's a lot of brown drippings, which makes great gravy. So I'm heating this up now, and then I'm going to put about two heaping tablespoons of flour in here. And I'll cook it for a while, get the flour taste out, stirring constantly with a whisk. And then I'll add milk and the seasonings. I ended up putting only a little over a tablespoon of flour that's all it needed anyway i'm just gonna cook this up for a little bit and then i'll add some milk so i changed your little silicone spatula just smashing it up in there i think it's cooked long enough and then i'll add the milk and start stirring. Gotta check on the thighs in the oven. 
Now it's come up to a boil. Watch it here. Might turn it down here. And this is when the gravy will start thickening up. I probably have a little over two cups of milk in here. And I salted and peppered it. It won't take long till we'll have some yummy chicken gravy. Yum, yum, yum. I love this stuff. Especially when you have good brownings from the chicken. From frying the chicken. Okay, just be another minute or two and it'll be ready to go. So the gravy, you want to take it off the burner. Or turn the burner off. When it's a little thinner than you like. Because as it sits for a couple minutes, it'll thicken up. So this is just right. Anyway, it's pretty tasty. And I've got my water in a bowl going in the microwave. <laughs> Make some instant mashed potatoes for myself. My husband's having something different. Keeping his carbs down. So anyway, it ought to be a tasty meal. So... I bring my water up to a boil in the microwave. Then when it comes to that, I, I add milk. <laughs> Let's see, I can do this. I just eyeball it. And then I bring that up to heat again and take it out, put the potatoes and butter in and it's done. So here's the mashed potatoes, nice and fluffy, soft. The butter's still melting in it, but they look pretty good. Saves from a pan on the stove, I like it. Since I've gotten older, my cooking ways have changed. <laughs> I say whatever's easier and easier to clean up, I'm all for nowadays. Okay, back soon. Here are my husband's hot thighs. <laughs> the uh, hot sauce, hot wing sauce, I baked onto them. So I, if I know him, he'll be pouring some extra on there while he's eating them. They turned out pretty good, pretty juicy. So my husband's allowed to have two-third cups of mashed potatoes and a little bit of gravy, but he's not in the mood for those tonight. So there's a lot of things he can choose from. Uh, but he's going to use hot wings. He could have salad if he wants. We'll see what he chooses. But tonight I'm having mashed potatoes and gravy. The fried chicken, which he can have the fried chicken too. But we got to count the carbs on the one piece of chicken. Or I have to lightly flour them. But that's what I'm having. Let's have a little taste of the uh, chicken. Here's a little piece of crust right here. Let's try that. Mm, 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 mm. Yum. So crunchy. That is delicious. I think the trick to making chicken taste good when you're frying it is salt. Salt and pepper. But anyway, that has a yummy, nice, thick crust on it. Look at that. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Yum. <laughs> okay, let's try the gravy. Chicken gravy is one of my favorite gravies. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> and I think you have to have enough salt and pepper in your gravy, too, to make it taste good. But there it is. My husband's hot thighs and my fried thighs. Pretty good. Pretty cheap. Like $5 or something for the meal. For the meat, I mean... Not much for the instant potatoes and the corn. These two things, the corn and the potatoes, were made in the microwave. So it saves on mess in the stove. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you try it. Bye-bye.